At the start of speech, I've been pretty much developing all my skills other than my internal structure and conclusion, which were already at a proficient, half proficient level. Throughout my speeches, I have one that I'm most proud of and one that I cringe at the thought of. The one I'm proud of is my interview speech, my holy grail of all speeches I've done this semester. I was able to turn developing skills into proficient ones, and even my introduction and conclusion were exceeding. But it seemed like I did a U-turn for my persuasive speech. It was terrible. It was just bad. But I'm trying to look past that. Within my last three speeches, I have seen a trend in a spike of growth and a setback. I think that the trend that is best shown in is my conclusion. In my demonstration speech, where I showed how to make an omelette, one could say my conclusion was mediocre at best. And just like that, you have yourself an omelette. Once you make this, please enjoy. Thank you. As you saw, it wasn't the greatest. I ended with the idea that the audience was actually going to make the omelet and with a simple thank you. It was not the best conclusion to leave a lasting impression. But in my interview speech, it seemed like I was able to improve drastically by making a once developing skill into an exceeding one. You have desserts or sweet breads or accommodated things for us. To my cousin, Wilma, there are passions she wishes to share with everyone. In this speech, you can see that I tied my conclusion to the introduction and attempted to leave a lasting impression on the audience by leaving a sentimental sentence of what my cousin thinks and what she's trying to accomplish. As for my persuasive speech, I went from an exceeding level to a developing state, which was a major setback. In this, I feel like my conclusion wasn't bad, but how I delivered it was. I paused for bits and my voice was really shaky. I also didn't put enough emotion into it, making it seem bland. Like my previous rubrics category, you'll see the same trend with my eye contact. In my demonstration speech, I did not show much eye contact at all. Bigger or smaller. Now the pan is heated, you're gonna want to add some vegetable oil or butter. I already my justification, I was making an omelet and I didn't want to burn myself while cooking it. I, I thought a voiceover would just make it easier overall for me to cook, but in my interview speech, I was able to make that developing skill into a proficient one. I was able to constantly look at my notes and at the audience at the same time. She was younger, she never really could uh, make shapes like I did or any of us. The family she was with was poor, so having sweet bread was a luxury few people had. Omar recalled the As you saw, it was about a 50-50. I was looking up and down and up again. I'm quite proud of myself for doing that, but for my persuasive speech, I didn't feel like doing that. The thorn in my path was my eye contact, or how I practiced it. There's an estimate of 6 million people in the U.S. who have Alzheimer's and related dementia diseases in 2022. That means 1 in 9 people. As you saw, for the most part, I didn't even try to have good eye contact because I didn't feel like I needed to do that for a decent grade. I thought not doing it would be fine, but it proved otherwise when I messed up and I had to restart. That later caused a domino effect where I started feeling much more nervous and it completely messed up my whole speech. But even after that, overall I do believe that I've grown in my public speaking abilities and I've gotten better but it's still waning. My laziness gets in the way sometimes and it hinders my progress but I feel like I could do better in all my speeches I've done if I were to do them again. I recommend speech students to get their work done early so they can just have the weekend off, unlike me doing my most speeches Sunday night. I also recommend future speech students to not get so nervous once they're on the podium because it'll be over faster than you think. 
even though my last speech did not leave a great impression on my speech skills, all of them were a lesson that I was taught either the easy way or the hard way.